The RNC was still at the scene today. At around 3 a.m. this morning, the tenant woke up to a pitch black, smoke-covered basement, stirred back to consciousness not from a smoke alarm, but from the loud yelps and cries coming from this dog. Without Charlie's barking, the fire may have turned tragic. At approximately 10 to 3 this morning, the CBS Fire Department uh, received a call for a residential structure fire at this location. Upon arrival, crews encountered heavy smoke from all four sides of the structure, but no visible flame. The initial attack team made entry and encountered heavy fire conditions on the main floor and basement area of the structure and proceeded to extinguish the fire and do a primary and secondary search. And then we discovered that uh, the tenant had uh, made it out safely. Charlie wasn't supposed to be there last night. The two-and-a-half-year-old dog usually spends the night at his owner's house across town. But because that home is currently undergoing renovations, the tenant living in the upper gullies area of CBS offered to take Charlie in for the night. Lucky that he did. Well, I've been at this 28 years, and it's happened, I don't know, I'd say between five and ten times that I've encountered where dogs have actually alerted people and they've made it out safely because of the dogs. The fire chief says it's rare, but not uncommon for dogs to wake tenants during a fire. But the best way to protect a home from a fire is still through the use of working smoke alarms. I think it's important that every home have working smoke alarms uh, on all levels and all living quarters and sleeping quarters. The RNC is still investigating the cause of the fire. But already, online and all over social media, people aren't talking about the fire. They're celebrating Charlie the dog for what he really is, a hero. Andrew Sampson, CBC News, Conception Bay South.